welcome to the Louis file. I just want to take a few minutes to uh, share with you uh, my thoughts here. You know, the Bible says to uh, make the most of every opportunity. Uh, take every chance you can get to uh, share the truth with people, uh, love people, encourage them. You know, there was a time in my life when uh, my wife, Tracy, would ask me, Louis, tell me anything positive. Just tell me one thing positive. And I couldn't do it. And I used to be amazed at how she could be so content and amused with things. And I was so jaded and hardened and darkened uh, with the world. But you know, that's what the flesh does for you. It just hardens you. It makes you doubtful. It makes you fearful. Uh, nothing good comes from living in the flesh. That's why the Bible over and over instructs us to live in the spirit and, not full, and we won't fulfill the lust or desires of the flesh. Um, today, as you can see, I'm outside. And I just thought I would take the opportunity to be outside. So uh, I just want to encourage you to uh, do whatever you can today to be an encouragement and a light to others. And uh, share the gospel with people. It's, it's going to be, it's the only thing eternal. You know, Jesus said, heaven and earth will pass away, but my word remains forever. You know, I used to spend all my time and energy getting high and and listening to music and talking about things that were temporal. But since I got born again at the age of 31, I have uh, every day realized more and more how short life is. You know, the Bible says it's a vapor. It's here today and gone tomorrow, you know. I mean, so we have to take every opportunity we can and it has a way of uh, narrowing down your priorities and it has a way of making you do a immediate test on everything you think and do and ch choices you make and, and you try to make them as an eternal choice. You know, the Apostle Paul told us, he said that the temporary uh, light afflictions are working for us an eternal weight of glory. And he says, while we look not at the things which are seen, because the things which are seen are temporal, we look at the things which are unseen because those things are eternal. And I, I've been, you know, I, I spent a lot of time thinking about that. What really is eternal, right? The Apostle Paul also said in 1 Corinthians 13, where he's talking about love, he says people speaking in tongues, gifts of healing, wisdom, words of knowledge, all of those things are great and wonderful things, but they're going to go away. At some point, the only thing that's going to remain is faith, hope, and love, right? That's what he said. So uh, I just wanted to encourage you today to take every opportunity that you can to, uh, to smile and be a light to other people. And uh, I hope that this video find you well and I do want to say that God loves you and uh, John 3 16 tells us how much he loves us so much that he sent his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him would have eternal life and wouldn't perish all we have to do is just open up our will and our hearts to Jesus Christ and receive him you won't ever regret it never met anybody yet that regretted it not once but I know people that have regretted rejecting him and uh, living a life that ends up being fruitless. So don't be that person. Receive Jesus Christ today and become a light. Be filled with the hope of glory. And uh, thanks for watching the Louis File. And I'll, uh, I'll see you next time.